So meanwhile, you have Erica over here who has introduced this new upcoming realtor, real, oh my God, realtor to her channel, Rakan Mucker. So Love by Erica introduced her new boyfriend or her friend to the channel and he, they make this big old deal like he's going to reach out to Erica to take on a date. Erica says she's going to go on a date. It was all staged according to Love by Erica. So he plans this date for Erica and Erica is just... And me and Love by Erica is going to finally go out on this date. Now, I've been planning this for weeks. Um, Waitlist, so it's a very, very nice upscale place. So we pretty much got the whole little area, um, you know, to ourselves. So, you know, I'm a little nervous. You know, it's been a while since I put myself out in this way. So, um, you know, I, you know, I, I got my, my clothes. I got to go pick them up um, from the cleaners. Got them fresh and ready to go. Um, I want to really impress her with this. You know, I got a surprise at the end of the day and everything. So hopefully she actually enjoys everything that I have for her because I really think that she's worth it. Uh, just a little bit that I know about her. She's, you know, down to earth, sweet girl. And, you know, this, this city life is fast for her. So, you know, I'm going to have to take my time with her and make sure that, you know, she, she enjoys herself. Pretty much. I'm going to put some clips in here so y'all can see. She was pretty much blown away. And honestly, I still don't know. He hasn't told me. He just said to get dressed really, really nice. And so I believe every woman has a little black dress. Now, guys, I'm over here a little nervous because, as you can tell, my hair is not done. So uh, everything was kind of last minute, and I had to call my stylist that's like two and a half hours away. And like she said, she was going to travel to Houston and be prepared to do my hair. But then something happened on her end to where she kind of bailed on me and I don't know what to do. Now my actual Houston stylist, she's not available. So I cannot go around this man with my hair looking like this. So I don't know what to do. Like I'm over here freaking out, but I'm truly grateful and thankful that the Mucker family took time out of his day to plan something really nice. Um, he mentioned that he has been planning it you know, for weeks now. And so I was kind of like, okay, when we get to the date, you know, like I finally say, yeah, like what's going on? So I'm really excited, I'm nervous, um, cause the Muffin family, he's a little bit on the fancy side and I haven't really explored Houston like that. And you know, with me being from, you know, a little small town, little country girl, I haven't really seen much at all. So I don't know if uh, it's gonna be one of the restaurants that he named and the video that I did with him, I just don't know guys. But um, I just hope that, you know, I'm dressing to impress cause he didn't really tell me the dress code. He just says, just get dressed really, really nice. And so um, last night guys, I was out by nine to 10 trying to find a dress in the last minute. Um, Oh, so as you guys know, he was my realtor and like, I'm kind of confused at how I even got to this point because neither one of us was even interested in each other, okay? I just so happened to have got on YouTube and I seen that, you know, his pretty little nieces wanted to collab and so I was like, hmm, I know him. Like, I was very shocked <laughs> at what I was seeing and so like, then, you know, running our basketball games and stuff like that together and just really just being around him and, you know, he's motivated me more than you guys will ever know. You know, so again, I'm very excited. A little, I wouldn't say anxious, but just my nerves is kind of all over the place because I want to look the best. You know, I want to look like a baddie when I step out on the scene, okay? Like when I come up out there, we'll never be y'all. Like, I, <laughs> I want all eyes on me. So, guys, I really haven't talked to him at all today, which is very like different because, you know, silence to me is like I don't really know what he's thinking. I don't know, like, is he gonna stand me up? Like, I don't know, like, what's going on? Like, is he playing something, like, really, really extravagant? Like, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, what would you guys expect? I be reading y'all comments and stuff like that. Y'all be saying he kind of fly. You know, he's a calm spirit and stuff like that. And so, I don't want to act like I ain't used to nothing. I ain't never been nowhere, but I really haven't. You know what I'm saying? So, a guy like him and, uh, you know, a guy like him taking his time out, to just really learn me and get to know me and stuff like that, it means a lot to me. She was blown away by the fact that this man it went out of his way to plan and record this extravagant date for her. He has his BMW. 
He is this millionaire. He has Airbnbs. He has property. He's this top realtor. And he's just out here killing the game. She hit the jackpot. Somebody completely different from what she had with Cryer. So we got these two new people who was introduced to Love by Erica channel as well as Cryer channel. And they are complete opposite of what we are used to seeing on their channels. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's complete opposite of what we used to seeing. We got Mucker over here who is this square, upstanding guy, got money in the bank. Got himself together. He a realtor. He got properties. He driving a BMW. When she first seen my car, you know, the, the BMW or whatever, I seen the way her, her eyes just lit up. Very, very excited. And, and, it, and it's my, you know, it's a, it's a common car here, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that don't excite. I mean, a, a BMW is pretty much a souped up camera. Or, you get what I'm saying? Like, okay, you got a BMW. But anyway. Erica is impressed by this, these things. And we are, and we we kind of like, okay, this is different. He different. And then we got Eric, uh, Cryer got the same thing going on. She's different. Completely different from what they used to. So everybody's kind of like enjoying the newfound love that they have found with these new people. All right. So Mucker is in love by Erica decide to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Now they're doing cooking videos and Erica's at the house. She's spending the night. He's um, with Cam and Dion and he's just been a great role model and stepfather to her. Uh, yesterday, uh, she had called me because her, her family was down here, you know, helping her with a few things. I'm helping her uh, rearrange some things at the house, you know, in preparation, in preparation of the new baby. And so I know like Dion right now, he's very, very active, you know, you know, he's, he's standing up on things, you know, with, with his hands and everything. So he's almost about, he's he's getting ready to start walking and taking off. Like, he takes off already. So Everything is going good. Until one day, Cam gets sick. Cam gets sick. And it's COVID now. Y'all know that you can't bring another person inside the emergency room. You're going to have to, if you sick and you the mother, that's, you just going to have to come with your sick child and, your, and, and you, that's it. If you got some other kids, they're going to have to go somewhere else. They can't come in there. So Cam is sick. Erica reaches out to Damien. Hey, look, I need to take Cam to the doctor. He running a fever. Can you get Dion? Cry was like, no, I'm busy. I can't get him. And Erica at this point is upset because as any mother would be, you got a child who's sick. You got this child you can't take. You want to try to see what's going on with your baby, but you can't. And the child father won't get him. You can't find nobody else to get him. You go, to, she's upset. And I get it. You are mad. You have every right to be. Y'all, excuse me for the pull the shirt. Now, somebody gave me this shirt. Now, it ain't real and it's aggravating. I wonder why I don't wear it, but now I know. It rises. But anyway, he didn't get the baby. Love by Erica go to social media, YouTube. She goes on her rent and we like, oh, God. Here come the storm. So she goes on and she pretty much telling, you know, call him Damien out, call him a deadbeat, say he's going to get his kid. And Damien like, hold up, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. That man you laying up there with is an abuser, but you want to call me out for not getting my son because I was busy? And all hell broke loose. Y'all already know what happened. Y'all already know what happened. Love by Erica said something back. You know, she said something back. No. He beat me. He's not abusing me. You the abuser. So Love by Erica started dropping, you know, old videos of her and Cryer arguing and he putting her out of the house. You know? So Cryer respond to that and say, hold up, wait a minute. Um, don't do that. You you sit up here talking, you you know, you, you to tell the truth. You know, you know the man beat you. Don't do that. You know he beat you. I wouldn't want to beat you. Yada yada yada. Toya's in the comment section responding to, you know, kind of backing up what Cryer said. She taking up for her man. She's gonna stand by her man. Do what she did. So Erica said, okay, goddammit. Oh, you wanna chime in too? Let me tell you something about you since you wanna chime in. That's why you can't have babies. Every baby you have go in the toilet. And we like, damn, you know how somebody say something, you like, damn, girl, that was a low blow. You shouldn't have said that. 
So everybody gonna love by Erica ass, including myself. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, Erica. Now the shit y'all got going on, cool. You shouldn't, you you know, you and Damien had whatever y'all had going on. He shouldn't have brought the mucker man in it. You shouldn't have brought Toy in it. Y'all should have just kept it between y'all. But damn, that was a low blow. You did not have to bring that lady reproduction system up into this matter. I was like, that was that's painful, little by Erica, because a lot of people, a lot of your subscribers probably had or have had a miscarriage. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, Erica, you wrong. You shouldn't have said that. So little by Erica come back, she apologized. Now what she said ended up breaking Cryer and Toya up. And everybody pretty much is like, you know what, Erica, you are so wrong. You shouldn't have said that. So she tried to come back and apologize to it and make it right. But Toya went at me. She was like, I'm chucking up the deuces. I'm out of this. Now, mind you, let's rewind. Let's go back a little bit. Now, Cryer had Toya to reach out to Mucker because Erica was saying, had told him this, this thing. So Cryer is reaching out to, to Mucker to try to ease everything out because Love by Erica had told Cryer that the man had abused her. He was on the phone. So they was reaching out to him, letting him know, hey, she said, because this is, you, you get what I'm saying? Toy was the one who reached out to him. So keep that in mind. Toy was the one who reached out to Mucker and said, hey, look, my man want to talk to you. We want to let you know what your, your, your girlfriend is saying, yada, yada, yada. And Toy is, you know, just landing on thick like she did with Cryer. You know, she was putting that bug in his ear. Hey, like, oh, I, I see you. You with the wrong person. Now, she ain't say that, but y'all know she reached out to him and via Cryer, she saved. So, I forgot to mention during this video that this is the time when the back and forth was going on between Love by Erica, The Mucker, and, and Cryer, Creo Bay. Love by Erica and The Mucker family had broke up because of what was said from Cryer. So, she was trying to repair the relationship with him. So during that time, she actually found out that she's pregnant. So she shows up at his house, take a pregnancy test on camera. And this is a photo of him actually, you know, taking it in, processing the fact that she's pregnant. So this is the time that everything is going on around this time. So let's get back into it. Okay. So fast forward, Cryer and Toya break up. Cryer and Toya break up. Toya's like, I'm done. I'm not going back. So everybody's kind of like upset. Everybody like, even include myself. I was a viewer. I was like, damn, Erica, you know, broke this man up. You know, ran this girl off. You shouldn't have said that. Cry, why the hell is you over here talking to this girl? Why did you do that? Cry, why? Like, what's going on with y'all? I'm just like, why y'all just, why y'all bring these two new people into it if y'all were going to do to break their heart? Like, I'm like, why did y'all bring these two new people into this and y'all was going to be toxic like this? Why? I didn't understand. What's been going on? Everybody's been following stuff. I'm getting hundreds of messages every single day i can't keep up with them from facebook uh youtube instagram i'm being bombarded with phone calls people got my number random people so i get so many messages so it's like i, I can't respond to everybody you know on top of everything else that, that's going on so but as it stands right now i don't know like we we both did some things um, on each, you know, both sides of the equation, though. So my hands are not 100% clean in this scenario either. And I'm going to talk about that towards the end of the video. That way, you know, you guys know. So I'm going to be there for, you know, even, even like, you know, maybe even one day next week, I'll probably uh, even pick up Dion, um, pick up Cam. Just give her a break. And, you know, in order to have a, a healthy pregnancy, you need to have rest. And, and be stress free. And I know with this internet, there's a bunch of drama and a lot of stuff that's out there. So I don't want anything to happen as a result of her not having a break. Cause I, you know, I know how it is, you know, cause before all of this stuff happened, the kids was, was around pretty much every single day. So I know, I know how kids can be a handful when you, you know, present 24 seven, it's a lot of energy, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of effort. So, just because me and her may not be seeing eye to eye right now, that's not those children's fault. And as, as I say, kids are innocent in the situation. So they shouldn't have to suffer because of the, the sins of their parents. And then you know, it takes two people to make children, right? So that's that's just what it is. So I still look out for Dion. I still look out for Cam. You know, I still hang out with them. And again, I have no ill feelings towards anybody um me me in, in terms of me i don't have i don't have any enemies 
to my knowledge. I can just say nobody's not an enemy on my behalf. Um, so yeah, so we we good, you know. If it's something that she need, if, she, if it's something that she needs, you know, I'm still a phone call away. Mm -hmm. No matter you know, no matter what the situation is, you know, I wish everybody the best. I wish everybody well, and you know, anybody who's crossed my path and we were connected in any form of fashion, I would always. I would always have that back no matter what the situation is. I could just put it like that. I don't have any enemies. Oh, am I am I excited to be having a um a baby? I wouldn't mind having a baby. I just like to bring but if I was I always said if I was to have another child, I wanted to be underneath the right circumstances. Meaning uh, I always wanted a I did always want a baby boy and I just wanted a, you know to shoot for a baby boy underneath the right circumstances. So, well, hopefully it's a boy. We'll see. Y'all are wrong. Y'all should just stay with each other. Y'all shouldn't have got these two new people involved. So everybody's looking for Toya. They was like, where you at? We, we still need you to be inspirational. They reaching out to her on Instagram. So she wanted to come to YouTube and make a video and kind of let everybody know, look, I was in a relationship with Craig. I was in love. Yada, yada, yada. He got too much baby mama drama going on. And looking at it based off all the stuff that Love by Erica has done that everybody want to keep holding her accountable for and mixing this situation up with that we like in that particular instant i would have been like yeah i can see why she want to remove herself because little by erica has displayed toxic behavior crier has displayed toxic behavior so i can see why somebody would want to remove herself from this incident this um particular situation based off of that so in that i get it i can see why y'all pull the stuff up i get it <laughs> so i'm like okay she done she done broke up with him I hate that because they was they looked good together. That was it. She made a YouTube video. That was it. I'm like, okay, cool. It's over with. Everybody was still kind of upset with Erica. So then Erica and Cryer, you know, kind of, you know, Eric Cryer come on here and apologize to Toya. Mother. Sorry for putting that post up about you. Um, and putting some bad things out there in the atmosphere. Um, and I hope that I'm not the cause of why the breakup really happened. I know you're pregnant and you were pregnant by me once upon a time. And I know what you go through when you're pregnant, you know, pregnant. I know that you get sick a lot and stuff like that. I know that you have a lot on your plate, you know, um, nobody wants to fail a relationship, man. At the end of the day, no one wants to fail a relationship. I mean, I just lost mine. You know, and Latoya, she's not coming back. She's 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 done with me. You know, um, I just think bringing a baby in the world, man. I hope that you guys can really work it out. Um, I should have never, you know, gotten your business. I know me and you had some conversations, and you know, you told me things about your personal some things about your personal situation, and I told you some things about my personal situation. The things I told you about my personal situation, it did lead to um, my breakup with Latoya. Um, but I know that you guys have a baby involved. And I really sincerely, you know, hope that things work out um, for the better. And that you guys are able to find your way back to each other. Because, you know... <sighs> Latoya, Mucker and Erica in hopes that that was going to get Toya back. And Toya was like, no, I'm not going back. So she, Toya started doing an interview with everybody else. And everybody's like pretty much rooting for her and crying to get back together. Because we like, even though he did have a side conversation with his child's mother, we like, it wasn't just like, I, we, we didn't think it was that big of a deal for them to break up. And so until some of these interviews, you're realizing that Toya was in fact insecure because Cryer can talk to love by Erica or Mama Selena without her feeling some kind of way. So she 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 was already feeling a way anyway. So anyways, Toya is doing all these interviews and people are asking all these questions about her and Cryer getting back together. She's just pretty much like, no, once you do something, that's it. <clears throat> and again, I'm like, damn, she do pretty good because I would have been like, I'm a I'm a chill out. I might take him back, but that was a little. You get what I'm saying? Like some stuff. You can forgive me, like, it ain't that big of a deal. I'm going to work it out because I like him and it was good. Like, sometimes the, the particular situation you be in, you be like, 
huh, I might give him another chance. It wasn't that serious for me to be like, I'm done. So I thought it was that kind of situation. But anyway, she's doing these interviews. She's doing these interviews. Now, meanwhile, while she's doing these interviews, she's putting out content on her YouTube channel. So she started putting out content on her YouTube channel um, because it's another uh, friend. If y'all want to go watch this interview with Fran, it's on Love, Lies, and Lace Front. I'm going to link every video that I'm going to play in the description. So anyway, she do this interview with Fran. And um, Fran just pretty much telling her to, like, since the people, pe pe like I said, at this particular time, everybody was still, like, on her side, like, looking for the motivational quotes and the inspirational quotes that she liked to put out so friend was like you know what just put some shorts on the, in the, sh the stuff that you put on instagram bring it over here and make it as a short on your youtube and friend was like you, you know what i'm saying like you got a lot of subscribers you got a lot of people standing behind you because toya on friend channel was saying that she was surprised that she had that many subscribers and friend was like people love you so go with it keep putting out that inspirational content because people loving it so toya took praying advice and she started dropping youtube videos so her very first youtube video i don't know if it was a i don't know if it was her q a or her story time i think she did a story time and in her story time she was pretty much telling people that um she wasn't taking it lightly that love by erica got abused because she was in an abusive relationship and she wasn't taking it lightly that love by erica would use her reproduction system against her because she had miscarriages, and there's a lot of women out there who had miscarriages and was abused. So she took those particular things, and she went on her YouTube channel, and she made a video about it, and it pulled on the heartstrings of her viewers. So now she do the story time, and people are like, you know, sympathizing with her, and they was like, dang, you know, looking at her completely different, still liking her, and feeling sympathy and empathy for her. So her ex-husband, who she was speaking of in the story time, got wind of her talking junk about him in this video. 